Okay, hello guys. Um, today is Tuesday, January 2nd, and I'm spitting today at the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum. It's new. Um, just opened. I don't know if you watch CNN, but um, Trump visited some weeks ago, last year in 2017, and um, I'm finally getting to visit. This is my second time here, so first time I came, it was like really, really crowded, and I couldn't really like read everything I wanted to read. There's so much to read. Like, the walls are just filled with like things to read um like and they're interactive too so like is this how you flip the camera okay yeah so like you can pull out things and like read about people that you've never even heard of like stuff like that like there's so many documents everywhere like this and stuff like that i wonder if this is real I don't know, this isn't real. But yeah, this is just like a quick like little mini tour, I guess. Um, like, it's so thorough to like documents of everything that I've been loaned by to go to college. Okay, I'm from Mississippi. Let me just say that. Okay, I'm from Mississippi and I live in Jackson. This is in Jackson. Two little colleges in Jackson. It's an HBCU. Um super old, super pro black and all that stuff, but they've given out so many documents to the museum and everything. Oh wait, did someone comment? I don't see where the comment went. Yes, so many people that I never knew about, like so many names that they don't mention in history books and textbooks that they teach us. Oh yeah, I'm from Mississippi. Yeah. Um, I get that a lot, but um, it's so beautiful, and it's like I said, very interactive. Um, let me go over here. Um, I've got video rooms we continue to go to about those freedom riders who um, died. Girl, Tamala, yes, get down here now. It's so beautiful. It'll make you cry. I cried um, reading some things. It's just because, like, I'm from here. Like I said, like, I've been to Macomb. Like, I've been in these cities that's got so much history and so much like weight associated with racism and the oppression of black people. Um, yeah. My favorite one um, would be the, the, I guess you could say exhibit, the section on Emmett Till simply because everyone knows his story. It really sparked an outcry and brought, and it like enlightened everyone on what is really going on, what was really going on in Mississippi at the time and how it really is just messed up, how white people treated blacks. She's my favorite, Fannie Lou Hamer. Um, just her voice, her word choice, all of her speeches, I love them. Um, she's up in, well, she's from Sunflower County. Yeah, Sunflower County, which is like um, Indianola, Mississippi. Small towns, small towns, I mean. Warm Fanny. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll definitely make you angry. <laughs> it'll definitely make you angry. Um, just like watching the news makes me angry and so just to see all this knowing that it's true and knowing that it happened it infuriates me but that inferior that angry that angerness is 
anger missing? That anger that I feel just motivates me to do better. This is the, um, I guess you can say like the little common room. The way it's set up is you go in through, go in through a door and then you come out and you go back in and then you come out like that. And you just go count, you just go, yeah, counter, no, clockwise, sorry, clockwise in chronological order. It is beautiful, Tam. I'm so happy Mississippi brought something like this. Um, let me see if I can find the Emmett Till one, because that's my favorite. I don't think it's this one. But this one is just as interactive as the Emmett Till one. Um, it's basically a jail cell. This is my second visit. This is my second time being here. Like I said, the first time it was very, very crowded. Um, and I couldn't really take it in like I wanted to. But yeah, you can come in, sit in, listen to people's like testimonies and speeches of the times they've been arrested, put inside the back of the paddy, ugh, paddy wagon. And speaking of a paddy wagon, here it is. This is what it would look like on the inside of it. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And all of the names of freedom riders and dates. Like I said, very thorough. I feel like they really took their own here. And the places they went to too. So like from Nashville, Tennessee to Jackson, Mississippi. And also, uh, it doesn't just focus on, oh yeah, definitely. Definitely a similar history. I go to the University of Mississippi, of Southern Mississippi, sorry. You can see my thrifted uh, sweatshirt I got, but um, they even highlight that here. I wonder where I saw it. kind of can get confusing if you don't know exactly the time zone of where they placed everything. I think it's in the other one. <laughs> Thanks. They're a dollar from uh, the hair store, not the gentrified kind from Urban Outfitters. That's a little shade there, but I can't find where they talk about Vernon Damer and Betty Damer. Well, she was a child at the time. Basically, they were activists down in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is where, I don't wanna say I reside, but that's where um, I go to college. And special to me because Betty Damer is a charter member for the sorority that I joined, Delta Sigma Theta, which touched home like so close, so close, knowing that, you know, the charter member of the sorority that you love is in direct ties and relations to an activist who fought so hard to get people, blacks registered to vote in that area. Um, gave housing and shelter. They gave out so much money to blacks, you know, those who needed money, financial support, and things of that nature. But yeah, definitely a tearjerker. Definitely visit all of your museums, wherever you are. Like, know your history. I mean, and don't just trust the museum's info. Go also research your own stuff, but. Yeah, that's how I'm starting off my year, guys. Um, don't want this video to be too long. Um, but yeah, know yourself. So how's Mississippi now? They have skewed, skewed. Oh, it's the same. Like, okay, it's not the same. I won't say that. Um, there are people who are progressive 
who care about blacks, who care about blacks' education, you know, just the welfare of black people, but there are also still, like some places, some towns, I'm not stopping. Like, small towns off of Highway 49, no. <laughs> no, like you might run into a clammy, not stopping. But um, I will definitely say that um, it's better and we're moving in a right, ugh, in a right direction. Um, like I said, I go to Southern Miss, the University of Southern Miss, and there are protesters who wave the Confederate flag every every Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon morning, rather. Well, you know that time. Every Sunday they waste, raise the Confederate flag, wave it in front of the campus, like right there in front of campus, off of Hardy Street, and you know how that looks to those who visit the campus to those who visit Mississippi it looks like oh they're still back in 19 you know 1950 back in Civil War days but I will say that Southern Miss has taken a stand against that and students professors faculty will be out there counter protesting those who wave the Confederate flag saying hey we don't we don't like what the flag stands for we don't condone this and we're here to say that so Sundays when they're out waving the confederate flag students like me um, faculty who support that will be on the other side waving um, signs that say peace or black lives matter or anything that is progressive and it's nice to know that I go to a university like that um, not really sure what they're doing up there at Ole Miss or Mississippi State, but I can definitely say for Southern Miss that there are, there is some progressiveness happening. But yeah, um, that's what I challenge you guys here to do. Just go out, visit your museums, vote, <laughs> okay? Get registered to vote. Oh yeah, that's one thing I wanna show y'all right quick. There's a quote that really touched me. There are a lot of quotes that touch me, but there's one. They also play music. is how shall we be freed and here are different quotes that say what freedom means to them and W.E.B. Du Bois says it really does it'll touch your soul but um it says the power of the ba ballot we need in sheer self-defense that's so true go out and vote Please go vote. We saw what happened in Alabama with the new senator, senator elect. We saw, well, I also liked that one too. The whole world opened up when we learned how, when I learned how to read. Hey, babe. Oh my God. Hi. Another Southern Miss student say hi. Right. I'm live right now on my YouTube channel. But yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Have a good day, have a good year, stay blessed.